old people matter. Facebook gets even creepier. And raise your hand if you can read. Welcome to Online Out of Line. LOL. <laughs> Facebook me, bro. XOXO. Facebook is becoming more Twitter-like by allowing profile owners to tag anyone, friend or not, in their public posts, and therefore allowing us all to track who's talking about who. So far today, I was tagged by the breakfast place that I dined and dashed at, Jason, our director, who was complaining about my lack of professionalism, and my mom, who I didn't even know had a Facebook account. Wait, how did the restaurant know your name to tag you if you dined and dashed? Oh, well, I had to check in on Facebook and Foursquare. <laughs> I was the mayor of Mel's Drive-In for like an hour. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. YouTube is offering new tools to its users. One called YouTube Create provides seven different functions enabling you to bring professionalism to your videos. Magisto finds the most compelling footage you shot, slices it together and creates an entertaining short video. Just look what it's done for our show. And beer. That's a little flat. LOL. Snuggies were whack. And yeah. If you don't have footage of your own, you can use the Go Animate function and make an animated film from scratch. Hello, Lauren. My voice is funny. Hello, Josh. So is your face. In today's digital dating world, you are either Facebook official, single, or going through a complicated time. And thanks to the Breakup Notifier app, everybody knows it. People using the app select friends whose love lives they want to monitor. And whenever it changes, they receive an email, making Facebook feel even creepier. A new study from Experian Simmons says that three in four online seniors age 65 and older are now using social media. What Experian didn't report was that two in four of those 65 plusers are actually running for office. It's official. Reading tweets is proven to lower your IQ because LOL and BRB are not words. So listen to someone else read tweets to you for the low, low price of $2.99. The new Tweet Speaker app by AppCubby reads through your timeline of tweets, translates abbreviations, and follows links to retrieve web pages. We tried it out on this tweet, and here's how it sounds. Hashtag rapture. People, please, in my humble opinion, the rapture did come, but Macho Man Randy Savage was the only one who proved worthy, rolling on the floor laughing. And before we check out, we're going to take a moment and reflect on Marty Phelps of Westboro Baptist in Kansas, who left us bewildered after organizing a picket of Steve Jobs' funeral. She tweeted, Westboro will picket his funeral. He had a huge platform, gave God no glory, and taught sin. Ms. Phelps' tweet was sent from her iPhone. We will pause here to allow the irony of that to sink in. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching Online Out of Line. I'm Lauren Gilmore. Oh, and I actually just got a breakup notifier here. It says that Lauren is now single. Why are you going to bring that up? I'm going through a hard time. <laughs>